Here are question 4 and 5 of unit test 1 advanced functions. Determine if y equals to minus 2 absolute of 2x cubed plus x plus x square is an odd or even function. Justify your answer. Question 5. Write f of x equals to 2x minus 6 absolute function as a piecewise function. Make a note of these questions, try to answer them. And once you have done, watch the video for the suggested solution. Here is the solution. To find out whether a function is odd or even, what should we do? We should try to find, we are given f of x, we should try to find what is f of minus x. If f of minus x is equal to f of x then the function is even and if f of minus x is equal to minus of f x then the function is odd right so let's figure out what it is so f of x is given to us f of minus x means we will replace x with minus x right so we will have to this x becomes minus x cube plus minus x plus minus x square right if you open these brackets we see minus of q is a negative value so we get minus 2 x q and minus plus becomes minus correct plus square minus will make it positive correct that's it now what we can do is we can take this minus common if I do that what do I get I get minus 2 so I'm moving from here to here okay and I can write minus here and in the brackets I can factor out minus from here right so I get 2x cubed plus x plus x square right and this is equal to minus of absolute value of minus is always positive so we get 2x cube plus x plus x square right this is same as our function f of x correct since f of minus x is equal to f of x the function is even right therefore the function is even so we have an even function here correct so that's our solution question number five absolute function as a piecewise function you know absolute function is a piecewise function correct so by definition if we have an absolute function f of x which in this case is 2x minus 6 this is equal to 2x minus 6 the positive value if this value is positive so we say this is equals to 2x minus 6 if inside value inside value is 2x minus 6 right if 2x minus 6 is greater than equal to 0 correct and this is equal to negative of 2x minus 6 if 2x minus 6 is less than 0 correct that is how the function is defined now you have to see when is this x positive so you have to solve this inequality correct and write down your answer so here we can say this is equal to 2x minus 6 if x is greater than equal to we'll take 6 on this side so it becomes 6 and then divide by 2 right 3 correct and it is equals to minus of 2x plus 6 if x is less than 3 you see that is how we are going to define f of x which is absolute value of 2x minus 6 as a piecewise function so there are two pieces to it right 
So basically what do we do here? We try to figure out when is this function negative and in that domain we make it negative. Okay? So here if you see 2x minus 6 if I plug in a value 3 here 2 times 3 is 6 and 6 minus 6 is 0 so at 3 let's say this is this is 3 right so at 3 the function is 0 if I plug in value 2 here so it becomes 2 times 2 4 and 4 minus 6 is minus 2 which will become plus 2 so it becomes plus 2 right but if I plug in 4 here then it becomes 4 times 2 8 8 minus 6 is 2 plus 2 so we get 2 so we get a function like this right so, so what really happened if we are looking at a point in the domain which is less than 3 then the straight line 2x minus 6 this is a straight line 2x minus 6 do you see this is actually a line right think that this is y equals to 2x minus 6 right so you will see if you are on the right side of 3 right if it is 3 plus then the value of function is same as the line 2x minus 6 right that means the line to x minus 6 correct but if you are on the left side of 3 from minus infinity to 3 in that case this line flips minus of 2x minus 6 do you see it flips and then it becomes an absolute function so basically this absolute function is a piecewise function where the two pieces are two lines one line is minus 2x minus 6 and the other one is 2x minus 6. I hope you understand. Thank you.